Hi, we're here with Joseph today, and he's going to tell us about his project, GR, a universal framework for visualization applications. Hi. Hi, my name is Joseph Hahn. I'm the head of, a, of the team Scientific IT Systems at Peter Grunberg Institute in Germany. Uh, it's part of the research center Jülich, and we provide hard and software services for our scientists. Uh, that's uh, a wide area of uh, activities we, we are involved in. One is, for example, visualization systems. We provide uh, several systems and I want to represent here our framework for uh, universal for visualization applications. Uh, the framework is basically uh, layered on a Graphical, graphical kernel system. This is a quite uh, old uh, software, but we still use it, and it has the advantage that there are uh, that there is an interface uh, for device-dependent uh, uh, logical device drivers, and we have modified it in the last years and put in some very new technologies like uh, PDF scalable vector graphics and things. I will. Uh, present later and this interface can be used from t traditional uh, programming languages but also from Python and with uh, Python getting more popular in the last years we also have uh, thrown away our own interpreter and now we only use Python to uh, do our visualization programs there's one thing which is unique to uh, GR. You can combine it with Qt or uh, WX. This means that you can use the software in graphical user interfaces which are written with those toolkits. I think that's unique to GR and there's also a hook into the GR library for uh, mobile apps. For example, you can uh, put the whole visualization stream into a mobile device like an iOS device or something other. So here are some examples what you can do with our software. It's nothing uh, strange but uh, the benefit of the software is that it's inter interactive and its uh, interoperability is uh, I think very good. Then we have some other unique feature we can combine two-dimensional graphics with three-dimensional graphics. And we have done this by writing an uh, off-screen rendering library. One of my colleagues has done a great job here, and he can do OpenGL graphics and import it uh, into our GR framework. So you can mix 2D and 3D graphics in one environment. There are some other goodies which are provided by this software. For example, you can export the complete graphics into uh, HTML5 canvas and you can then view it with a WebGL capable browser. I think that's something which is very useful for our scientists because they can easily create uh, web presentations uh, of, of their animations. This is an example how you can uh, produce uh, molecular dynamics graphics with our software and it's completely written in Python and we, have, uh, we are very glad to have such a simple interface here. For the future we have planned to integrate PDF into our software so we, would be, we will be able one time to import PDF documents and uh, display them in our graphics. Also, we have plans to integrate uh, the in generation of video sequences automatically from our software. So, I would like to show you a little demo here. You can see here that's a simple Python script with, which does an integration of a pendulum and uh, you can see here that it's really a live graphic which can be shown with a Python interpreter. This is the same with a double pendulum. In this case it's rendered with an off-screen rendering library I have uh, presented uh, some, some seconds ago. 
So that's GR. All right. Thank you very much, Joseph.